Hello! Today we will see how we can save data in a simple and persistent way. First I will show an example saving just one information and after that we will see another example saving multiple informations in the same file. Let's first create a simple visual interface to input and load our data. Now let's create a script to save and load the data. First, let's create the save function. This function is really simple. We just create a new file object, then we define the file path and the name of the file and set the mode to write because we need to write the informations in the new file. Then we define the way that this data will be stored and we can close the file. And now we define our load function. We started that same way creating a new file object. Then we need to inform the path of the file. And we set the file mode to read because we just need to read the file. Then we need to create a variable to get the text. And then we close the file and return the content. Now we just need to configure our buttons to call these functions. So we will put it on the pressed signal. We need to change this load function name because that's uh, already a function from Godot used to load resources. And that's our test running. We can write something in the box and press save to save it to the file. And we can load the value later pressing in the, lo the load button. We can even close the application, open it again, and load the current saved value in the file. And now we will see how we can save multiple informations. I just added more two text boxes, and let's go to the script. First we will create a save data function. Inside this function we will create a dictionary with the information that we want to save.
and the rest of the function is similar to the previous example. The only difference is this two JSON function that we use to save our dictionary in the JSON format. And that's it for the save function. Now let's create the load function. First we need to create our file object. Then we make a test here just to see if we have a, a file to load. After that we open our file with a read mode. Then we create a variable named content and this variable will keep the information parsed with this function parse JSON because we have saved it as a JSON. Then we will loop through the keys to find the keys name, HP, and points and put them in the correct boxes. And then we close the file. I'm returning the content here, but as we are, have already set the values in the correct boxes, we really don't will use it. Now we just need to configure our buttons like we have done before. And this is our example running. And that's it for this video. If you like it, please give a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment. Thank you for watching. Bye.